So happy you're an official YouTuber now, Jack. Can you please film a chubby bunny challenge for your next video? Sophie Lism. Love you so much. Sophie, love you so much. That's a weird surname. I mean, does this level of disrespect annoy you? Actually, no, it wouldn't annoy you because you are just a YouTuber. Well, actually, Sophie, for your information, I'm much more than a YouTuber. I am an accomplished TV anchor, a versatile actor, and lest we not forget, a three-time King of Comedy Award winner. I mean, you must have seen me at the Brits. That was an accomplished debut. Nice one. <laughs> Just think. Little old Jack, hosting the Brits, better known as the British Record Industry Trust Show. Watched by six million people. Cool, man. Do you want to hear a joke? Not really. What time did the man go to the dentist? Two thirty. <laughs> right, do you want to tell me what is up? Because I'm sensing some serious negative energy right now. I know that joke is gold and I gave you the PG version. December 18th. 1777? America's first official Thanksgiving? No. The week before Santa Claus comes down the chimney? No, it's my fucking birthday. I knew that. Yes. Nothing else to say? No. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. All good? Yeah. Cool. Do you want to hear another joke? Oh, are you actually joking? Yes. I, I'll give you another joke. Why didn't you wish me a happy birthday? I did. No, you didn't? Yes, I did. I sent you a personalised message. Hello, Marcus. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Would you be happy with that? Yes, it's got everything. A jolly smile, the song, your iconic catchphrase. I don't even say that anymore. Hashtag bring back the hello. Joe Wicks, Tanya Burr, Daniel Ratcliffe, Zoella, KSI, Rizzle Kicks. Why are you listing random celebrities? Rita Ora, Will I Am, Daniel Sturridge, Pete from Big Brother 2006, and Barry Chuckle. Those are some of the people who wish me a happy birthday on social media. I love Pete from Big Brother. I mean, that was Pete BB. Where was yours? I sent you a personalised message. Surely that is better than some generic tweet. No, actually it isn't. Really? Why? Because if you send it privately, who's going to see it? I mean, have you got any idea how preposterous you sound right now? You're organising a birthday party. What would you rather? Me turn up in person Mm, life and soul, what's got two thumbs and loves to boogie? This guy. Or some stupid Instagram post. Oh, hey, uh, mate, you're like my bezzy. Happy birthday. The latter. Really? A hundred percent. That is sad. hundred percent. Tragic. You are a tragic, sad little man. hundred percent. Pathetic. You didn't even comment on my Instagram post. I'm certain that I did. Do you even have my post notifications turned on? I don't know what that is. I have yours on. That's creepy. Can you turn them on? Okay, fine. Right now? Yes. Turn them on. You know what? No, Marcus, no. I'm not going to turn them on because this is everything that is wrong with society. People valuing their online presence more than authentic friendship. People have become so self-obsessed with social validation that they're more interested in the likes they get on their fucking avocado on toast than actually eating it. Yeah, but did you turn them on? Oh. Wait a sec. You didn't wish me happy birthday in real life or online. Happy birthday. I would get out of this bed right now, but I'm not wearing pyjama bottoms. Sorry. Do you want some 
Toast. You know that I don't eat carbs afternoon. Do the catchphrase. That'll make me feel happier. Do it. Hello. I can't stay mad at you. Come on, let's have a spoon.